you know, when there's a, a divorce or a separation and children are in the middle, it must be awful when they decide that they don't want to be with you or they don't want to be with their father, mm. whichever parent they, they d are doing that to, is really difficult. And then Colleen said, well, actually, that happened to me. And so, yeah. you know... Um, I... That happened to me when, when me and Shane split up and I moved up north with the two boys um, just because my family were there and it was just easier for me. And they loved it there. But then just before... Shane Jr. was about to start senior school and about three weeks before he was due to start... He was looking very down one day and he sobbed in my arms and he said, I, I don't want to stay here. I want to go back to dad and go back to my old school. I think yeah. he was terrified of starting a new school. He wanted to go back to his old friends and, and go with them. And he was how old then? He was 12. 12. And it's more about your school. Honestly, it was think. such a lump in my throat. Yeah. But I said, <laughs> OK, you can do that. And I phoned his dad and I said, look, he wants to come home to you. Mm. And Shane panicked. Did you try and persuade him to stay? Um, no, and I and my family were very much well. He hasn't got to say. He's twelve years old. He has to stay here. You've got him in this school. He mm. should be with you. And I said, as soon as I tell him he has to stay here, every single time yeah. I tell him off or I try and ground him when he's older, his whole thing with me will be, I never wanted to be here. You mm. made me stay. I want to be with dad. And um, I spoke to his dad, and his dad said, I guarantee he'll be back with you in a month, mm -hmm. you know, or two months. And I have to say, there was, an, I suppose, a bit of an arrogant part of me that I was confident in the, in the fact that I thought he'll come back. I know he'll come well, not back. Not arrogant, just that you know your kids. You know him. him. I know, you know, but it was still a gamble, children. but I just thought, you know what, he's made that choice, and I, I can't insist that he stays with me. And I knew he was great, you know, Shane was a great dad. It wasn't, you know, anything bad. And he went, and trust me, not in front of him, but when I was packing his suitcase, I sobbed. Oh. I was, like, oh. sobbing. It was like someone ripping my heart out. And off he went, and with the first few weeks he was happy, and I spoke to the school up north, and they said, we'll keep his place for this term, but then we'll have to let it go. And like his dad said, within a month, he was on the phone, I want to come home. <laughs> <laughs> and he came, I was like, oh, OK, yes! <laughs> Just because you were saying that, you know, he was only 12, and you let him make mm. that decision, because there are a lot of people that would say, look, they're the kid, you're the parent, you're mm. in charge. I mean, you were talking about, you know, what great strong marriage your parents had, and yeah. obviously adored them both. If that situation to ever occur, uh, happened to you, could you ever imagine having to choose? Or, oh. or do children, are children quite canny, where they go, well, I'll go with Dad because he's a bit easier, he buys me more stuff, or...? It, it's so hard, isn't it? Because like, I, I've never been in that position, I've never had to choose, and I would hate to have to be in that position. I'd also hate to have to be mm. in yours, Colleen. Like, but I do think, like, as kids, like, as children, there's a reason we're not meant to make those decisions, yeah. and cause, it is because we'll be a bit sneaky with it. You know what I mean? If your mum's strict, if your mum makes you do your homework, if your mum essentially does have, like, your best interest at heart, but at that age you can't necessarily see it, you're going to say, I want to live with Dad. Yeah. And you're going to say... Or without, vice versa. Or vice versa, do you know what I mean? Without any inclination of how hurtful those words are, cos all you're thinking is, yeah, I want to play PlayStation, yeah, I want to drink with the lads at the bottom of the street. Or, yeah, when I want to. Yeah, yeah. I want to do what I want to do. And that's why I do feel as though, like, kids shouldn't make those decisions necessarily. Yeah. However, like... I will say this, it's the best thing you could have done, and you know that. Well, and when he came back, saying, he was no, never... You can't. When he came back, I said to him, now you have to stay. You yeah. can't make yeah. that... You know, I thought can't. he's not yeah. going to run yeah. every, every time I tell him off. So he knew then he'd made that decision. I mean, there is a, a, a thing, isn't there, that people say, oh, well, uh, the kids should be with their mothers because the mothers always know best, and that's mm. where they should be. I don't think that's always the case. No, I don't. I mean, um, when my mum and dad split up, um, I was slightly older. <coughs> Excuse me, this cold... But um, I wanted to be with my dad. Now, whether it was because my mother was a real taskmaster mm. <laughs> and really, really hard on me, I don't know. Yeah. But my dad was the easiest person in the world. And that, and, but, but nevertheless, they were both equally good. But I don't think it necessarily goes that a mother knows best. Yeah. A lot no, of dads a lot are of, I think a lot of that parents. happens because invariably, the, the, when a, a family splits, 
you know, the children for their best interests are kept in the family home. Yeah. And I think maybe there are a lot of women who, who possibly have given up work to bring up the kids. Yes. That's how normally it's awarded. I don't think just because, you know, they're saying you're the better parent. You know, um, the other... It the should other, be always for the best <coughs> interests. The, the other kids, problem is, it? is that um, if you get a pet, you know, two, two people and one of the child belongs to that the mother and, you know, had, had it before the, they married. Yeah, and I had, uh, I had a friend's and... Um, he married my friend and she had a boy now at this time he was only eight or nine and they were fine for a while but as soon as he said don't do that she went oh that's my son. No, you can't do oh, that. That's my that. son. Cannot you don't do that. do that. And I think you get an awful lot. They actually split up in the end. Yeah. Because he said, I, I had no, I, no way of disciplining this boy because he wasn't mine. Yeah, you have to yeah. Well, Ray together. had to do that, didn't he? With yeah, your, absolutely. Yes. You and I had to bite yes. my tongue thinking, it's my child. Yeah. Um, but I never did it in front of the kids. No.